Hey guys, what's up? Rice Tricks here. Haven't posted a video in a long time. Well, about a week, not really that long. But haven't been posting videos as much lately. I've told you why in previous videos. School started up, sports, karate, just all this different stuff that has been making me really busy. And I've needed to get like a schedule formed and stuff like that. And I've had a lot less time to do videos and Xbox and everything like that. But um, anyways... Uh, everything's still not scheduled out, but it's a lot more scheduled out, and I have a schedule now of how I'm going to do my videos and all that stuff, and I'm planning on posting a video every single week, I mean, not every single week, every single day, and I'm going to see how this is going to pan out, see if it'll work, I'm going to be super excited if it does, because I really want to get our channel to grow bigger, I want to get, uh, it would be awesome if we could get 100 subs or more by the time Ghost comes out, so... If you all, uh, I would greatly appreciate it if you all would tell your friends about us, give us some constructive criticism on how to get better, all this different stuff. It would be greatly appreciated and try to get our community to grow better because as we, our community, our YouTube gets better, we'll take it more and more seriously and we'll get more and more equipment and we'll do better and we'll listen to what you all say and what you all want. So hopefully it'll get bigger by the time ghost comes out i'll be so excited for that because when ghost comes out i'm gonna like step up my game a lot i'm gonna be trying to post video every single day be more up to date with things bring you all the greatest gameplays tell you all everything you all need to know and i'm gonna get it the night it comes out probably i'm gonna be trying to get everything just you know really uh organized for y'all but um Super excited for Ghost, and in this commentary and gameplay, we're going to be talking about Ghost a little bit, uh, some Xbox One a little bit, and I thought there was something else, but I can't remember. Um, and in the gameplay, this gameplay is a little bit more slow. We are doing some spawn killing with some of the members in the clan in Nuketown 2025. It's a little more slow, but I get my Warthog K9 unit swarm. Super high KD, but it doesn't show the KD because I was playing in theater so sorry about that but um yeah i guess let's hop into it so i made a previous video on information about ghost and and i don't think i've really made one about xbox one but i guess we'll start off talking about xbox one first so i haven't really been keeping up to date with everything yet but i'm pretty sure ghost is um i mean not Go what am i saying Xbox One comes out in like November or December, and it costs like five hundred to six hundred dollars. Also, and depends on what like bundle you get or edition you get and stuff like that. So it's gonna be a good amount of money. Um, some information you might want to know about it is that, from what I've gathered, uh, it's not. I don't think it's been confirmed yet, but from what I'm what I've gathered, I'm pretty positive that. Any Xbox 360 and controller and headset will not be compatible with the new Xbox. So, you know, before you go and buy Astros or a scuff controller, um, you might not want to do that and wait for the new Xbox to come out and then get whatever is going to be coming out on that Xbox. Because, you know, it would kind of be a waste of money. Because I was going to get Astros because my mic I have right now just sucks really bad. And I thought I could get better equipment to have better gameplays and stuff like that for y'all. And I'm probably going to just wait and get Astros and or whatever really good headset's going to be coming out on the new Xbox. And get a really nice controller on the new Xbox. And, yeah, and bring y'all some really good gameplays with that. But, um... I'll probably also do like videos of them, like how good they are and stuff like that. If when new headsets and controllers come out on the new Xbox. And another thing that I was worried about, but from what I've gathered on this, it says that it says that. <coughs> sorry, I had something in my throat. But most people um, think that it is going to work from the information they've gathered, but some people said that it wouldn't. But if you do videos, you know, and use an HD PBR or recording device, you know, capture card, whatever, Albato Gaming, you know, whatever it is, that it won't be compatible with the new Xbox. And this worried me, because I just bought, you know, HD PBR 2, and I would really hate to go buy a new one. That would just really suck. But I was really wondering if it was going to work. But, um... From what I've gathered, most people think that it will work and that it should work, so that's going to be really nice. 
But if it doesn't, then you know everybody's probably going to make a new, new copy, new, not a new copy, a new addition to the HD PVR or Algato or Capture Card, whatever. And if they do, I tell you what, a Hapog HD PVR, they, uh, I mean, I hate to be like mean or rude or anything, but there's some improvements they could should definitely make. Um, on just mainly just the editing software that comes with it because I don't have really good editing software I don't have anything. It's just the editing software that comes with that which really isn't anything It's just you know the main simple basic needs, but the system on it like lags and freezes and messes up a lot and they really need to look into uh, Fixing that making it more reliable, I guess you would say and maybe even putting better uh, editing software in it, like more stuff than just the basic needs, because that would be really nice. But um, if when the new Xbox comes out, like I said, I'm probably going to try to get the new headset, new controller from probably Scuff and Astros if they make new ones for the new Xbox, and then I'm going to start saving up to get good editing software so I can actually have really nice editing software, maybe even get some montages out, everything like that. But Anyways, that's what I plan on doing with Ghost. I'm going to be trying to, it's like a goal for me that I have set. I'm going to be trying to bring you more up-to-date stuff, uh, keeping you informed, being, you know, right about things, like keeping up with information, bringing you good gameplays, everything you need to know, all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, so let's talk about Ghost a little bit. I made a previous video talking about it some, and... I mentioned, uh, I think, some score streaks and kill streaks and a few other things, but I really didn't get into it that much. But there's a lot of stuff that I still haven't said that a lot of y'all probably already know already, but I'll go ahead and say it anyways. But I'm really excited to see what um, they're really going for in Ghost because I know that they're going. Uh, a lot more dynamic style maps like a lot of things can change the whole map and whole play of the game kind of like in Battlefield you know how you can blow up entire buildings and then it'll change the whole game basically almost but that's what they're doing a lot in Call of Duty they've said they're making a ton of dynamic maps of things that'll change the whole entire game and I think this is really cool because they've always been behind in this Battlefield has always been known for its cool ability you, know, you can blow up entire buildings and blow up walls and all sorts of cool stuff like that. And Call of Duty is now slightly kind of leaning towards going into that. And I think that's actually a good step. I think this is going to be really cool. At least I think. I think it could be really cool and I think it's going to be really successful, but I'm not sure. I'm interested to see how it's going to pan out. Because I know that Battlefield already does that and they're really good and known for it. And... I think it'll be interesting to see Call of Duty have, you know, its Call of Duty feel, but be leaning towards a little bit of Battlefield type game, where, you know, you can blow up entire walls and stuff like that, that and get a little realistic. And I think this is going to be really fun. I really want to see what that's going to be like, because I think it's just going to be so fun. But, um, that's really interesting, and I can't wait for Battlefield 4, too. I'm going to be trying to bring gameplays to Battlefield 4, because... Those two are probably my favorite games. I mean, I like pretty much any game, but my favorite is probably Battlefield and Call of Duty, so I'm really excited for Ghost and Battlefield 4. And I'm just excited to see what Call of Duty is going to bring in the future, because I watched this one video from Scumpy that he talked about how he thought Call of Duty was still in its baby years, and I kind of agree with him now that I think about it. When you think of the first Call of Duty that was just an arcade game, I'm pretty sure, and how it's come from right now, it's like grown so much and I would love to see what it's going to be like in the next two to three years I think it's going to be absolutely insane the next Call of Duty after Ghost is going to be made by Treyarch so it's going to have zombies and since they're taking this step in dynamic plays in Ghost I think it's going to end up being successful and then Treyarch's going to do it and I wonder if Treyarch will make a zombie map with dynamic gameplays where you can blow up buildings in the middle of a zombie game and it's going to be powered by the cloud for now on, which is, you know, cloud is supposed to be infinite storage. I mean, I mean, it's most likely not infinity, obviously, but it's going to be massively big. So that means they can build upon so many things to do. And they can make servers of zombie maps that are absolutely huge and have less lag. 
and you know more players and everything and bigger maps and I think this is just going to be really interested to see how Call of Duty is going to start to you know grow in the next two to three years and maybe I'll even be on the scene in Call of Duty in the next two or three years I mean that's a dream and it's a long shot but you know what everybody has dreams so you might as well dream big but um because I've always just really thought it'd be fun to do tournaments to uh, be big on YouTube, and I think it'd be so cool to be big on YouTube and do tournaments in the next two or three years in Call of Duty. I'd love that so much. But I think the next two to three years is going to be really interesting in Call of Duty. Uh, I'm really excited to see what Ghost is going to be like. Also, there's, I mean, they're bringing back some old game uh, modes and bringing back, I mean, not bringing back, making some new ones. One new one that I really, really, really want to play because I think it's going to be so fun is it's like a mixture of search and destroy with kill confirmed you have your normal search you know where you have one life but when you get killed you drop tags if your teammate goes and picks up those tags you'll come back to life but if the enemy picks them up then you're dead for that round so this is going to be really fun because it's going to make search and destroy a lot more fast paced which is going to be absolutely extraordinary and i really wanted to see that and uh... it's just going to be really awesome and they're bringing back Infected, which was super fun. I enjoyed Infected so much. But um, anyways, guys, this video is coming to an end. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. And thanks for watching, guys.